these are the neighborhoods that will be affected by the resident permanent parking program. The residents don't blame the people that park on the street, but they say it's dangerous, especially getting out of driveways. Brenda Nordgren lives here. Um, this street is very, very busy. It, a lot of people use this as a shortcut, avoiding Prince Avenue. As you can see, there are no stop signs on the hill or on Highcrest Avenue. And people that are coming from Prince Avenue to avoid the traffic are speeding. And as a result, there have been many accidents with animals. Brandon explains that speed bumps are too expensive to install. So the solution was to install stop signs, but also only to allow permanent residents to park on the streets. Brandon walked me through the neighborhood and showed me how the non-resident parking is affecting her and some of the neighbors. No mail. The car that is parked in front of her house is sometimes blocking the way so her mail doesn't get delivered. While we were talking, the driver of one of the cars that was blocking her mailbox drove away. And then she came back and parked in the same place again, preventing the mail truck from getting close enough to drop off mail. Brendan says the same car is there every day. She says most of the cars seem to belong to workers from the hospitals around the area. When I attempt to ask some of the nurses, they didn't want to talk about the issue. Tatiana Gusin with Grady News Source.